if you have a great roadmap and you're doing something you're passionate about, you're gonna find the right place with enough research and, and doing research asking people. I think the first ways to start learning where you wanna be if you know that you're in real estate is to download content, whether it's YouTube or looking at shows like Finest Women of Real Estate, Real Men of Real Estate, it's an easy way to learn from other people who are doing it and you can quietly observe, take notes and say, okay, that person's kinda of doing something that I like or what they've described seems like an area of interest. Coming from the solar side of things, um, and just in general, just interacting with so many different people and so many facets of real estate and business and solar and renewable energy, what gets you excited? Like, what is what like fuels that passion inside of you? Is it commercial? Is it residential? Is it selling? Is it buying? Is it you know whatever whatever gets you really excited? If you have a future vision for developing and creating something, I would say that is where you'd want to focus because within any facet of real estate you can find your specific niche, whether it's commercial, residential, development, things like that. Shows like Finest Women in Real Estate, Real Men of Real Estate, those are valuable assets to, to take notes from. Stay away from nearly anything you see on broadcast television or cable television. Uh, pre pre predominantly the reality shows. I was just reading an article right. yesterday and it had the list of the 20 most unrealistic reality shows. In addition to the dating shows, over half of them were the real estate shows. If you're a brand new agent and first question is marketing, I would actually take one step back and really focus on how is your sales process? Because as a real estate agent, the test that you take has nothing to do with your day-to-day -day work. Um, that's why I typically work with agents or brokers that have a refined system and they've been doing it for at least a couple of years because I can then enhance that. But if you're, if you're just getting started, the best way would be to market for free to your sphere on social media and do some of the old school tactics like texting and dialing your, your personal network and just get some transactions going. Go through the process a few times and then you can break down your budget and go from there. If you would like the biggest cue of how to be successful in this business, go take notes from Zappos, go to your favorite Nordstrom's, go walk in there and see what those people do just to treat somebody. That is the majority of this job. And most people that do is they think it's a marketing and sales job and it's quite, it is quite not. So follow up is the whole name of this game. Everyone meets somebody. Uh, where I've seen most agents stop is because they've done two follow ups and they're not sure how to call a third time without making it about themselves. Like let it be about them, say here's why I'm doing this. Because it reminds them that you're not trying to abruptly sell them something. The other thing you gotta do is when they say no, I don't need anything at all, don't say, okay, no worries and let go. You say, no problem, I'm gonna follow up in a couple weeks just to make sure that's still good. You have to invite yourself back. The other thing is to concentrate on your top 10% of your list, top 20%. Don't worry about 100 people coming through the open house. Worry about the five that said, I'm doing something the next five months.